Integrated Circuit 16, Digital Circuit Instruction Decoder. The instruction decoder is the state of machine within the CPU. So you have a memory. Say it's a 64-bit wide. Then you get one 64-bit 64-bit instruction is only this much and often has a op operand A and operand B. Say you add A and B and the result come back to A or B. That's kind of assembly code instruction. Add A and B. Okay. The when the operand is it's double precision or uh, indexed instruction is different. This instruction shows this part has address or memory and go to the address or memory and need to fetch this operand. So either way when instruction is instruction decoder fetch the instruction and interpret this and prepare this operand into register. So this register has A, B, C, D, some of CP has more. Okay? And parallel computer, parallel CPU tend to have more. Now instruction decoder has a memory management. So depend on this instruction, it's order to fetch the data from memory. So the memory management has memory address and has the instruction read or write to the memory. Okay? So this is a state machine the control the CPU's operation. Now once this data is ready to use in the register, then the this register pointing address is given by state machine and this A and B is fed into ALU and this ALU get the result and bring it back to the register so it's a this cycle go through many times if it's not add or subtract multiplication it's go through the multiplication hardware and come back and the uh, risk CPU architecture is simple. Instruction decoder. Oh yeah, one more thing. The depend on ca calculation result. There's a flag, bit, set. For example, ALU does a logic operation. The if statement, right? And the if statement, it's either zero or one. The flag can be multiple bits. Flag register. And this register is going to go back to instruction and depend on the result. Instruction uh, state machine is going to get reset or whatever, uh, take next action. Or use of memory management, give a jumping address. If, if condition jump, right? And this jump address is given to memory, memory management and memory management is going to uh, uh, fetch the next instruction. Okay, so see this is a sequence and the more detail the often risk computer use pipeline architecture that means they can feed A and next clock already feed C, D and next clock E, F. So each clock the data advance in ALU and the result is coming back every clock. So it's much quicker than performing A and B complete in the multiple clock and start C and D. Before A, B is complete, C, D comes in. And you know, this is a factory pipeline. You finish this much, go to the next stage, go to the next stage, go to the next stage. But this one, you keep feeding the new one. So it's flow through the execution unit, okay? This pipeline operation is possible.
Now, the risk computer is easy, simple. The problem is CISC is this CISC has a microcode memory here, separated memory. And state machine is not just state machine. It's read microcode instruction from microcode memory and execute. So what in the microcode memory? It has the uh, <coughs> program to calculate a divide or higher uh, function. The, the function, the operation, it cannot be completed in a single cycle. Okay? So when you have this kind of memory mixed with instruction state machine, and if you have, say, new semiconductor technology, it's faster. Every gate is faster. It's much harder to adapt that to make a new version of CPU. And this was a disadvantage of Cisco computer. RISC computer doesn't have this. So it's purely just gate, everything, register, everything gate. So gate get faster, fine. I mean, CPU get faster overall. So now the architecture of CPU pipeline, the the disadvantage of pipeline is when one operation cause exception or invalid, then you have to flash entire operation, multiple instruction, and redo it. And usually this done by software. So it has some cost, but it's only happened once uh, every million times, then it's still okay. Um, parallel operations also parallel signal it's got a parallel signal to the instruction and it's monitor the the partial task this is this is executing and the the command come from the uh, CPU management unit to continue or discontinue or uh, jump to the new place so there should be a, some architecture difference for the CPU used in parallel compu com computation okay so um, some scientific calculations speed is more critical than accuracy so often the divide is performed by the multiplication of the reciprocal value how do you get the reciprocal value it's a table lookup in the memory you keep the reciprocal value right and in order to do the division you just go get reciprocal value and go through multiplier boom it's very fast okay this kind of technique is also used and that can be done by software level and risk architecture as I said it's simpler to adapt a new semiconductor process technology CISC the problem is microcode memory inside. So you have to deal with the memory plus gate, both of them, to speed up everything. So it's get more complicated. Okay, so that's a kind of uh, uh, overview of the, the instruction decoder within a CPU chip. Okay. I hope you like this uh, video and if you like, subscribe.